one year of world travel. That's 365 days away from home. Now, you're probably thinking this guy must be rich to afford to do something like that. Well, I definitely wouldn't say that, but how much money did I actually spend? Let's find out. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Tony Florida, and I've been traveling the world since quitting my job in 2018. My first stop was Italy, then India, tiny island in Bermuda next, followed by Central Europe, after that Colombia and Peru, down under to Australia and New Zealand, back to Europe to see Spain, mainland Southeast Asia next, followed by Japan, and finally Taiwan. That's a total of 18 countries, 59 cities, and over 8 full days traveling on planes. Now, if you know anything about travel, you'll know that flights are pretty much always going to be your biggest expense. Roll up your sleeves, we're about to get into some numbers. The cost of my 51 flights, which by the way took me around the world over 4 times, was $6,027. Now if you want to get technical, the total price of my flights was actually $7,822, but I saved close to two grand by using my rewards travel points. Let me just say here that I could have spent a whole lot less on flights since I pretty much flew back to the United States between each trip. Not the most efficient, but that's how it worked out for me. Anyway, what about everything else? There's lodging, food, getting around. Well, finally, here's the answer to the burning question on everybody's mind. How much does traveling the world for one year cost? When you add everything up, my one year of travel cost me $26,655. That's outrageous, right? Well, not exactly. Let's compare this with actual numbers from my old budget when I was living in Baltimore. Rent was $950 a month, car insurance, $85 a month, cell phone, $45 a month, etc., etc. When you add all this up, my yearly living expenses in the United States was just over $25,000. Now, here's the interesting part. Technically, because I saved all that money on flights by using points, I really only spent $24,860 on my year of travel. These two numbers are surprisingly and ironically close. In fact, I go so far to say as long-term world travel can be significantly cheaper than living domestically. You see, during my year abroad, I participated in a little over a month's worth of guided tours, which cost me over four grand. During this time, my daily expenses were nearly $150 per day. Now, if we exclude these expensive guided tours and all my flights, my average daily cost of traveling the world was less than $50, $47.07 per day to be exact. In some countries like India and Laos, I spent less than $30 a day, while in other places like Europe and Japan, my daily expenses were quickly approaching $100. In any case, most people pay double or even triple this on a hotel room alone when they travel. For me, my daily expenses are just that. They include lodging, food, sightseeing, transportation, and any other miscellaneous expenses along the way. By having a budget-conscious mindset, I was able to see the world on less than I would have spent back home. How's that possible? Well, my biggest piece of advice is, you must not travel as if you're a tourist, but rather a local. Instead of hiring a taxi cab, take public transportation. Instead of eating at restaurants for every meal, shop at the supermarket and cook. Not only will you save a bunch of money, but I'd argue that you get a much more authentic experience by doing these type of things. This video is just the tip of the iceberg for me. Over the course of this year, I plan to take all the knowledge that I learned from traveling the world and share it with you. Everything from budget travel tips at specific destinations to travel insurance and travel vaccines. My goal with this channel is to make you a smarter traveler, so if that's something you're interested in, subscribe for all the latest from me. And now that you know that world travel isn't just for the rich, what's your next destination gonna be? I wanna thank everyone for following me on my journey. Plenty more like this to come. Stay tuned and I'll see you in the next one. Okay.